You know, when Disney took over Fox, one of the questions that came, there was a lot of questions about what's the future of this franchise? What's the future of that franchise? One of those questions was Aliens. And I'm going to be honest with you. While I've always said, I mean, look, anything can happen. The number one, the number one commodity in Hollywood these days is IP, right? Everybody's looking for IP. Well, they want brand recognition, franchise names, and all that kind of stuff. But I said, man, I got. I wonder if the Aliens franchise is dead, man, because they've kind of been kicking that thing into the ground lately. But then we heard some whispers that Fede Alvarez, who is a fantastic director. And it's got a little bit of experience with the horror genre. Could very well step up and maybe do an Aliens movie. And they were talked about maybe it being, it was in development. I still had my doubts as to whether it would come to the light of day. Well, guess what? It looks like it's happening. Because according to The Hollywood Reporter, Fede Alvarez's Aliens movie now has a cast. Uh, and I don't know any of them. <laughs> I, I mean, and that, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying off the top of my head, I don't know any of them. But it says... Uh, Please give a warm face hug to stars Kaylee Spanny, uh, who is being joined by David Johnson, Archie Renault, Spike Fern, and Aileen Wu in the 20th Century Studios production of a new Aliens film. All right. Obviously, probably a lot of people recognize some of these performers. I, I admit off the top of my head, I don't recognize any of them, and that's fine. The, quite, the bigger issue here, I think, is the fact that they've got a cast for an Aliens movie. And I have no idea where they're planning on going with this. Uh, what, like, it, like for, for example, the Hollywood Report is saying this, plot details are being kept in a cryo chamber, cryo chamber, I should say, but as opposed to the other movies which focused on adults in corporate militaristic and scientific roles, uh, this now ninth installment of the franchise will focus on a group of young people on a distant colony. The group find themselves in a fight for the lives, which a titular alien, a creature known as the Xenomorph, whose race propagates by implanting eggs into people's stomachs via face huggers, uh, with the juveniles eventually violently bursting out of the host's chest. Okay, so there's going to be, this is going to be set in a colony. They're not really giving us an idea of the time frame as to when this happens and all this kind of stuff. So I've got a thought here. Maybe it's time to take this franchise just straight back to its original kind of formula. Like I know as the as years went on, they try to further the mythology of aliens and they try, now there's this new kind of alien, now they're doing this, and now they were on ancient earth and whatever. Maybe it's just time to go back to a straight up, and, and this might speak to why Fede Alvarez is involved, a straight up horror film. Go straight up horror, just go make it simple, bring it down to the studs, take it right down to, there's a colony on a world, and oops, there's alien eggs here. And just go real simple, because that formula could work. And honestly, it's been a while since they've tried to take that approach with it. And maybe that works here. You know, the question, some, I was talking to a friend of mine, and the question was, is this going to be theatrical? Is this going to go straight to Hulu? Much like, um, what was Pray. the name of the Predator movie again? Prey. Pray. Pray. Much like Prey did. I said, well... On its surface, it kind of looks like a Prey situation, that this would be one that they could just put on uh, Hulu or Disney+, Plus, probably Hulu. But at the same time, Prey's success may motivate them to make this thing theatrical because Prey was awesome. I still contend that Prey is the best Predator movie outside of the original Arnold Schwarzenegger one. I know number two has its fans. Great, but I think this is the best one other than the original. So maybe that motivates them to go theatrical. Anyway, Chris, you saw the cast lineup. Any yeah. of the cast stand out to you? You're, are you familiar with any yeah. of them? Yeah. And where is this thing going to end up? Like, I, I have not... I, it might be right in the report, and I might have just missed it. I just don't know where this thing's going to end up. Well, two of the cast members I did recognize. Uh, Archie, I believe his name is Renaud, uh, the center gentleman here. He's on Netflix's Shadow and Bone. And then Spanny. Oh, I do was, like that show. Uh, Spanny was the uh, girl who gets killed in uh, Mayor of Easttown, the pregnant girl whose like, murder we're trying oh, to solve okay. the whole time. There you go. So great actress, and he's fantastic too. So I've got a lot of confidence. I'm not familiar with the other three, but I think this is going to be really, really fun. I didn't see the first Alien until 2018 at Cinespia. I didn't watch it until I was in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and I feel like I was the only person there who hadn't seen it before because I was screaming reacting to stuff. Um, 
I, and I know because you guys have talked to me so much about how Aliens is such a different turn. Yeah. I really, really need one's to see it. One's an action movie, one's a horror movie. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I've read so much about Alien too, about the approach they took to that kind of specific horror and why it is all about like these like kind of belly impregnation, bursting out of stomachs, things and everything. And it's, I mean, it's a true horror movie. And I think going back to those roots, especially with how successful we see in the comedy genre perform this past year, I think is really, really smart. And because of Prey too, I'm with you. I think it's gonna get a theatrical release, not only because Prey did so well, but I think the Alien franchise is so beloved that people are gonna go see this on a big screen. You know what's funny? I've always said this. I think the Alien franchise, it's it's funny when you, I see a lot of similarities between the Alien franchise and the Terminator franchise. Both these films that kind of started with really more, more Alien, but kind of a horror kind of slant. The first mm -hmm. Terminator is definitely an action film, but it's, it's very much a horror film at the same time. And then they moved into their sequels where the Alien sequel became, well, hey, some people think the greatest action film of all time in yeah. Aliens. And then others think maybe Terminator 2 might be the greatest action film of all time. And so there's it's kind of neat seeing that similarity. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? They are moving forward with another alien film, a lesser known cast, maybe getting kind of down back to their horror kind of roots. I think there's some potential here. Will it end up on Hulu or in theatrical? Maybe they've announced it already and I just haven't caught it. I don't know. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Guys, it's the new year. Do you remember those New Year's goals you promised yourself you'd stick to? HelloFresh is here to help you eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door, taking the hassle out of dinner time. Looking for an easy way to eat well and save money? Cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right right in your own kitchen. My wife Anne and I have been constantly impressed by HelloFresh. Not only how absolutely delicious the food is, but how easy it is to prepare and how much fun we have doing it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia60 and use the code Campia60 for 60% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia60 for 60% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.